Today, Pete and I are going to be going on a few days out camping, about four hours from our cabin. And we're really excited because we've always wanted to explore that area. But I'm going to be making a chimichurri this morning before we head out so that it has all day to sit. And I'm going to be using some, a little bit of cilantro, a lot of parsley, and some oregano, and uh, a few other ingredients. So let's go and make it. I went into Vandy the other day, just kind of cleaning it out, getting ready for the trip, and it kind of had a little bit of a smell. I couldn't figure it out, so I'm picking some lavender to hang in there, and hopefully it'll make the smell a little bit nicer. But I always love um, picking lavender and putting it in our Jeeps. I think we've had it for years like that. Everywhere I can find lavender, we'll have it, dry it. It's just nice. Smells so summery. So we're officially on our way, and I don't know if you can see Van leaving there in the background. So that'll be interesting for him to be all alone on the island and uh, figuring all that out. With but Lando. With Lando though, so not quite alone. We jump onto the highway and start heading west for about an hour and a half before taking one of the many logging roads that point north into the wilderness. We are soon reminded, however, that this is an active logging area and we need to keep an eye out for the big trucks that use these roads during the weekdays. After about an hour of driving north on the logging road, we see a trail heading into the forest and we decide to take it. So we're heading in a uh, pretty tight little trail here, trying to get to a lake which looks a little ways off, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's made it. The sound of pinstripes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So 
different in the Ontario how much tight trails there are. Yeah, this looks like the end of it though. Well, that's the end of that trail. That's weird. It was going along so good and then it just ended, but it's a sandy uh, camp spot back here. We, we're looking for water, so we're not going to just stop here. But if you were just looking for a nice camp spot in the woods, this would definitely be it. But you need um, bug protection because the flies, black flies, are out in full force. Let's see outside my window. and it looks like a gem you know you can see a uh, lake, lake and uh, it looks promising when you enter but like a lot of trails here they just kind of disappear and I think maybe people just kind of pull in during hunting season walk the rest of the walk, yeah but uh, hopefully we see some wildlife we didn't bring the chainsaw we did not bring the chainsaw you get a reminder but yeah, well, a couple of trees across the road, so I'm gonna have to back all the way out of here. And it doesn't look, we were hoping it would go down to the river, but it looks like it's going the opposite way, so. We'll carry on. Oops. Hey, you want a branch? Yeah. <laughs> Some firewood if there wasn't a firewood. We just saw a little clearing and it's it's right beside the logging road so it's not too far off the road but it's also right beside a beautiful river and we've only seen two trucks go by and now it's five o'clock so I don't think there's gonna be a, much logging traffic after this point so and they definitely don't run at night so it's gonna be a quiet beautiful place for the, for the night I think and uh, we're just gonna get camp set up and make something to eat I think now that we know how to open it all up, it'll go much faster next time, but it packs way all nice. That's going to be a game changer for tonight because uh, the bugs are they are out, but not as bad as when we were in the bush. So I'm super happy we found this spot. It is just gorgeous. We'll break out the fishing rod and the fly rod and dinner. But oh, We can sit in comfort in here, Yeah. enjoy the view of the river, and not a single mosquito. <laughs> it's heaven. It's our first time using it, but it's really easy to set up.
Well, that heats up hot fast. I just had a red chili thing just hit the back of my throat. Alright guys, we had a wonderful day exploring the backcountry of Ontario, some of the side roads and trails up here. It's uh, amazing, there's a lot of country to see here. But uh, we're going to spend the rest of the evening just enjoying the sound of the river and the birds. And uh, we'll probably hit the hay in a bit, and then we'll see you tomorrow. We have a lot more exploring. So I think this morning we're going to be doing a little bit of fishing, at least seeing if we can. Yeah. And then we're going to probably either pack up camp unless we have good luck. <laughs> um, and there's a few lakes ahead that we really wanted to check out. So and okay. that, that river just keeps on putting me back to sleep. I know. I'm like trying to wake up. Normally I'd be wide awake right now. But getting out of bed this morning was just so hard. Peaceful spot.
So we were sitting here and I was talking to Pete as he made his coffee and a huge buck just crossed the river right there. The biggest thing I've ever seen. Beautiful. Oh, I yeah. wish it was a little bit closer. I don't think he got the memo, but he was supposed to stop and pose for us so we could whip out the camera for you guys. That was hands down one of the most prettiest things I've ever seen. I was just telling Pete, I was like, I really hope, you know, a moose or an animal comes out and crosses the river in front of us. And all morning when I was laying in bed, even I was checking out the tent being super quiet. And here we are just having a conversation, making coffee. And I mean, he was doing the prance, like just unbelievable. Breathtaking, that's for sure. That was something else, eh? Beautiful. He's gone now in the bush, but... He was kind of lingering for a minute there on the side. That's I think beautiful. he was curious about us. Like he, Maybe. But how special that was. That was neat. You did order a moose. But... I did order a moose at 6.30 this morning. But <laughs> you got to order in a bit late. What time is it now? It's like probably 8.30. It'll do. We are both very new to the fly fishing scene, and we spent a lot of time practicing our casts. Although we didn't catch anything, we learned a lot and had a ton of fun. fun. Learning short cast. So we went up the road like not even maybe maybe two kilometers and we found this gym of a place off the road so there's no dust from any trucks or cars going by and it looks like a scene from the river runs through it it is ah oh, stunning it has a little bridge going over it but lots of big boulders lots of swimming holes and probably lots of little fishies in there so We'll stay here for a little bit, maybe make lunch and then carry on, but this is definitely so far our favorite spot that we've seen. being berry season.
For anyone who's wondering what limb risers are for, now you know. <laughs> These kind of trails, all grown in, but they help, they really clear, clear the way. stopping because we noticed a whole whack of blueberries. Wow, it's just like wow. endless. Look how big these things are. Beautiful. Nice find. I wonder there's so much uh, bear droppings mm. everywhere. Yeah. Hmm. Wow, look at that. Mm. We could pick some and then bring some back to Daniel. I think yeah. he's picking today, but Lando and Daniel would love this. My, my, that's a lot of blueberries. Oh, we should make some syrup. Mm -hmm. Blueberry syrup. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Those are probably the best tasting. Mm hmm. Do you have a little bowl? Or? Yeah, we'll get it. Well, we could probably sit here all day and pick these beautiful blueberries, but uh, yeah, it'll be nice to go home and before we leave up to Alaska, make some uh, blueberry syrup. Hopefully Caroline can come up for her birthday before she's off to Europe and uh, before we leave Dan and Lando, so that'll be nice. So on the map here on Gaia, you can see that the trail got pretty close to a lake and here we are. It looks like it's uh, that from here on out is a provincial park all around the lake and, and there's a river, Massasagi or something, river. So this uh, section we see is just the very bottom of the lake and it looks like it gets pretty big back in there and there's no more roads up that way. So that would be fun to explore one day with a canoe or something. Um, but yeah, might cast a line in there. boat launch.
All right, so we had a nice little lunch by that beautiful lake. I flagged that spot on GPX uh, for future reference. We'll definitely come back here and do some camping. We have at least a couple hours drive before we get back where our cell phones work and uh, we need to do that in order to check in on the white Jeep. So um, they're, the engine is in and they're just doing the final details. And so they're gonna want us to pick it up either today or tomorrow. So let's go check, uh, check on that. We're pretty excited to get uh, Worsley back on the road. For years, we closed our videos saying, we'll see you down the road. One of the biggest joys for us is when we actually do get to see you down the road. We had just grabbed a coffee when we bumped into Jesse and Lisa and their wonderful family. They are heading out on an epic family road trip of their own. Thanks for saying hi. We really enjoyed meeting you. All right, we just got a call that the Jeep Worsley is ready to be picked up, so they've done uh, all the testing they need to, need to do. Um, so we've got a brand new engine in there and a brand new transmission. When the engine arrived, it had a transmission attached to it, so they just replaced both. So it should be a brand new Jeep, pretty much. And uh, yeah, so let's go in and uh, pay for it and pick it up. Last time it will ever be this clean. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Back, new transmission, new engine, and no, tick, no ticking sound. And he almost had a heart attack when I said that. Oops. All right, All right let's, go. let's hit the road.